Hey guys, my name is Gavkis and today I'll be improving your frame rate in Minecraft 1.16. So let's get started. So starting with step 1, we'll be opening up File Explorer. Then, we'll navigate to this PC and right click on it. We'll click on Properties. I'll open up this tab and we'll see Advanced System Settings in the top left side. We'll click on that. Then navigate to the Advanced tab. Click on Performance and Settings. Then, go to Visual Effects and copy all of these settings. If you need to, pause the video, since we'll be continuing from here. Step number 2 will be installing some modifications to your game. We'll not be installing Optifine, since it will not work with the mods we're planning to use. To all of these mods, I'll link the link to the description where to download them and get them. So first, we'll open up your browser. We'll lo look for Fabric Loader. We'll go over here, and then we'll go to install over here. Then, we'll click on download the fabric installer from download page. It will navigate us here, and we'll click on download installer universal. Once we have downloaded that, you will have this file right here. We'll double click it, and it will open this fabric installer. We'll choose 1.16.1, since this is the version we'll be optimizing and then click install. It'll create a profile for your Minecraft game. Then, we'll be installing the mods. We'll go to app data, percentage app data percentage, to be specific. We'll click enter, and it'll open up this folder. We'll click on .minecraft, and then we'll create a folder that's called mods. But since I already have one, I'll be canceling that. Once we, then, we'll enter the mods folder and we'll drag in all of these mods except the fabric installer. Fabric API, Logical Zoom, and Sodium. I'll be leaving a, a link in the description to download all of them together so you don't have to put in the extra effort to look for them. Once you have all of those dragged into your folder, we'll navigate to the Minecraft launcher and adjust some settings there. After we have opened Minecraft Launcher, we'll go to Installations, and we'll click on the three dots, click on Edit, and set your resolution to 1280 by 720 I would not recommend going any higher or lower than that, since we were looking for frame rate. Once we're in Minecraft, we'll go to a Single Player World to adjust our settings, or a Multiplayer World if you wish to. Since I have already made one for that, I'll just log into that. At first, do not be scared. It will lag a little bit while it loads the chunks, as you can see here. It will lag quite a bit, to be honest. Once it's done loading the first few chunks around you, it'll be just fine, running smooth and nice. As you can see, I'm getting pretty decent frame rate for 1.16. Now, we'll go to navigate to video settings, and then we'll go to advanced. If you have an Nvidia graphics card or Intel HD graphics, Please set it to 4.3 OpenGL since that will give you the best performance possible. If you have an AMD graphics card, please set it to 2.0, otherwise you will have uh, rendering glitches, which we do not want, we want a smooth gameplay. Then we'll navigate to quality. Over here, set the graphics quality to fast, clouds to fa fast or default, then we'll go to better, fast. Particle quality, low, smooth quality, off. This is probably the biggest FPS impact in the whole game. Buy and blend, I would not recommend going below free. It looks horrible. Wignet, we can keep it on, doesn't affect FPS. Midmap levels, keep it at zero if you want the best performance, since it does affect quite a bit. Over here, if you have a really bad computer, I will keep the chunks at six, since you can still see a little bit and you can uh, look around just fine. If you have a slightly better computer, set it to 8. 8 will give you slightly more vision. And if you have a good computer, I would set it to 12. After that, brightness, keep it on 100. Clouds, you can uh, disable this off and on. Doesn't really change more frame rate. If you have a really bad computer, I would recommend turning it off. It might give a few frames 
full screen, please run it in full screen. Get running a game in full screen will help you get better frames and more stability. If I run the game in windowed, I'll be getting less frames. We think we'll keep this off for the case of this video since we do not want to smooth our frames, we, get, we want to get as much as possible. FPS limit, keep it unlimited. If it says it's 260 when you look over it, just put it to max, it will be unlimited. Congratulations, you have finished the tutorial, there is nothing else left.